I know a lot of you guys personally have been requesting this and are very excited for this, but I just want to let you guys know I am equally as excited, and that is crazy. This is going to be a fantastic ride for all of us. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again. I shouldn't say back at it again. I guess we're starting a new show. This is gonna be replacing Rising of the Shield Hero. Now, before we get into it, just a couple of questions to answer. A lot of people have been asking me, hey, are you gonna do unlimited blade works? Cause you finished Fate Zero, what's going on with that? Um, I use Fate Zero to kind of cut down on one of my shows cause I was having five shows going on at a time besides live shows. So I use that to cut down to four. I'm also gonna cut down to three once this is done and I'm gonna be posting uh, more episodes a week of the shows that I'm doing. So I'm going to be doing three shows at a time, but uh, four episodes a week of each show. So I'm excited for that. Of course, Black Clover is going to be one of them. I am super excited. I think I should let you guys know what spoilers I know before going into any show. I love transparency between me and you guys. So I will let you know. I do know. And this is from the openings. I do know uh, the title here is called Asta and Yuno. So I'm assuming the other guy's name is Yuno, his homie. I know Asta is who Asta is, of course. Um, but I know Yuno has some sort of power up form. I knew Asta had a power up form before I even watched the openings, thanks to Jump Force. And I, the, the last spoiler I know is that there's some sort of wedding that happens at some time. Other than that, I don't remember anything from the openings i remember the songs were great i remember the, the video itself is doing fantastic hopefully you guys are a lot of you guys are from that video a lot of black clover fans are in here this is gonna be a fantastic time remember with the first and last see normally i do that with seasons the first and last episode of any season is a like the, the full length which is normally available only on patreon i put for free for you guys so that's definitely going to be in the description check that out but i think i'm going to do the blind wave tactic on this one when it comes to a super long shonen that every time there's a new opening so first and last episode of every opening so i'm not going to be able to tell on the last episode of an opening but just know guys from now on if it's the first and last episode of any opening um check the description should be full length available for you guys for free if you guys do enjoy that check out the full length on patreon it's it's gonna be like that for every show we watch it's fantastic if you guys could do me such a big favor and just leave a like on this video it helps push it out in the algorithm leave a comment as well i want so many people to watch this i know so many people have been requesting it so i want to make sure youtube doesn't screw me over on this so thank you guys and make sure you guys follow me on twitch for my live streams and follow me on twitter but i said we finally hop into this i am very excited I have been pre-warned that the first 15 or so episodes ass is going to be a little loud and a little overbearing, but I just think of Kid Naruto, who is very loud and very overbearing. I think of Zenitsu, who is very loud and very overbearing. And if you guys don't know, I love Naruto and I love Demon Slayer. So I love these characters. I, I'm sure I'll be able to deal with it. And I'm sure over time I'll get to love this character. But I say we hop into this Black Clover episode one called Asta or Asta, I'm sure I'll learn how to pronounce it, and you know. So this is a church. So babies left on the doorstep of a church. Seems like a typical, not typical, but seems like a plot, you know. 15 years later, oh, that is so sick. Oh, this show is going to be so sick. Oh my god, I love magic. So we're able to water all the plants with the Wizard King. I'll become the Hokage. <laughs> water creation magic, holy fist of love. You annoyed her that much to the point where she used magic to beat your ass? Oh, that's you know. I can tell by the necklace. He's the suave, cool guy that everyone likes. He's handsome. So we have these kids being able to use magic. Farmers down the street can use magic, but not Asta. So it seems like everyone... Everyone has the capabilities of using magic, but ever seen? It's that okay. All right. Ma like the animations that they do so far for the magic, how they're outlined in the colors, 
like their affinity it seems like is actually really cool the animation so far in the shows i really like it oh wow wow magic is dope you know is dope i can already tell you i'm gonna like you know a lot i love the calm cool guys i want to know what the fuck that is It's 15 years later. I just realized he looks so much older, man. Shouts out to the church guy being a real one. He reminds me of the Sasuke. He reminds me of the Karapika type of character. Which I always like these kind of characters, but I always vote for the underdogs too. So I'm always down, you know. I always love the, the rising up story, you know. I love it. Oh, he's getting the workout and he's pulling the Rock Lee. Has no talent for the innate things other people can do, so he work hard in other places. Single-handed, upside-down push-ups? Hey, man, you, you do what you gotta do in these situations. I gotta commend that. Like I said, I respect the underdog. The amount of effort and work ethic that they put into it, discipline, is beyond these people who are naturally talented. March, when Firefly Dandelion Fluff starts to dance through the air, once a year, all around the, Clo the Clover Kingdom, all the 15-year-olds are gathered. In March, at the Grimoire Tower, awards to enhance their magical power. So 15-year-olds get it, so that's the age. Nobles born, or ties, oh, and we're the church, we're in the poor air, okay. Yeah, I'm starting to get more info. He's using magic as like a microphone. That's so cool. It's this entire area. Okay. They all look different too. This is going to be cool. Oh, this is going to be swaggy. They'll be like, fuck, which one do I want? I want the red one. Now fuck the blue one. Oh, they automatically come to you? Alright, guys, what are you comparing over there? <laughs> what are you comparing? <laughs> he didn't get one. That would be so embarrassing. Oh my god. You know, what the hell? A four leaf clover? A four leaf? You mean the legendary. Who's this guy in the back? The first wizard king? That's the one on top of the statue of the school? The first wizard king? Immense power? That peasant? First off, don't disrespect my boy you know. Don't put, don't sleep on him. And he doesn't even give a fuck. He's like... This is... This is... I like this. I like this. I see them as rivals, but also friends. But competitors. It's, it's different than Naruto. I'm not... I'm going to be comparing the show a lot to Naruto, but I'm also going to be trying not to compare it at all to Naruto. It's gonna be hard. Just ignores him. Jesus. Come on, you know. Sister's one of the only ones who realizes, sees how Asta feels. The kid knows. Who is this fucker, though? Oh, shit. I literally blinked for a second. He's gone. So the first Wizard King had a four... Leaf Clover. Are they challenging him? Ooh. 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 He's willing to murder him over this. This is some serious shit. 
See, magical fights are going to be so cool. I didn't notice that. Okay, so Grimoires power you up to the point where... Okay, okay. My creation magic. Binding Iron Chain restricts the magic. It's like Kurapika's chain and forces Zetsu. Rev Chi. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Only underground collectors are buying grimoires before they for insane. Oh, okay, we got a black market. Okay. Hey, no magic against a, an ex-magic knight? This Asta is ballsy. You gotta respect it. Try to go for some Taijutsu. That was a slick little pull right there by the chains. Ooh. Yeah, a job. See, a lot of people in his situation would gather an inferiority complex and be talking like this a lot. But Asa is not that type of guy. So that's, you know, just awesome. Yeah, hey, he's been trying his damn hardest since he was a child. That's what that fist bump was from. So you know, you know respects him, you know commends him. A five leaf clover? Wait. I didn't. I just thought he was not gonna have a grimoire. I thought that was gonna be the. He's getting the sword in episode one, and it came out of his grimoire. This red blood-infused fucking demon magic. So, within a fourth dwells good luck. So within a fifth. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, this is, wait. And this is the opening, because I know this is the opening that they're playing at the end. This is dope. Kind of want to watch it. Fuck it, we'll watch it. Oh, it's credits. That's a good way to do it on, on the first episode. Credits, I like that. Okay. I have so many questions, and I'm... Uh... I'm just so intrigued. I'm intrigued and interested. I try to say that at the same exact time. So this is not like my hero where it's not the rarest thing to not have a quirk or powers in this sense. Like my hero, one fifth of the entire society doesn't have powers. It's more on the luck side. You're born with a power and you're born with a good power at that. Whereas this, everyone seems to be born with the at least potential to use magic. Now, how good you are depends what it seems to be blood ties like family magic is descendant and, and uh, genetics you know strong magical ties tend to give you more power but also everyone has the capability so it's like you know just how skilled you are like you know at this orphanage at a uh, technically a church but orphan out of nowhere is just hella strong he didn't even need to use his grimoire against those two goons so it's just like the the city their town or they're from the village i can't even you know use the correct words the village they're from is called hague or hage h-a-g-e and it's a a small not very rich slightly impoverished place in the boonies and every 15 when, when in march in march every year all the 15 year olds in every location so they travel around the country i'm guessing are gathered to give to get their grimoire and to be it's kind of like their level up kind of like when you turn 10 pokemon you get that pokemon you go on your adventure but the grimoire i want to know the specifics 
is it like is it like seven deadly sins where you already have let's say a hundred let's say you have three thousand magic power but you can your body only allows you to use like a hundred you know a maximum but the grimoire is able to open that up and let you use all three thousand or do you have a hundred but the grimoire powers you up to three thousand that's what I'm curious about. If you guys could answer me that, because I don't think that would be a spoiler at all. Um, if you guys can answer me some of the world building questions that I have, I'd actually really appreciate you in the comments. But so nobility tends to be the people in the wizard knights who guard the wizard king. And it seems as if the wizard, the first wizard king with a four leaf clover grimoire, which he had received, is the person on top of the statue in Haig, like the village. But first off, I want to know what that skull is and then why is he there? Like of all the famous places he could be he's his statue is in the boonies and the butt fuck nowhere i'm just curious about that also i get come on like like i understand not wanting to relate it to naruto because it's such a different it's so different it's a completely different anime it's not like naruto at all but with the whole rivalry between uh asta or asta and you know and naruto and sasuke and then be wanting to become hokage there are some differences of course some key critical differences but it's just you get those vibes even looking up at the statue of the hokage saying i want to be you like or the the wizard king you know it's like it's interesting it's interesting i i am very i'm, I'm we're gonna find out what happens in the next episode with Revchi and if he's gonna die because i'm curious that's the next thing i'm curious about in this show is it gonna be more of a show where the bad guys get imprisoned is it going to be a show where the bad guys turn good guys is it going to be a show where the bad guys straight up die because hunter hunter has an interesting way of letting their bad guys live but also showing you a fair amount of death to where you feel okay this was definitely dark enough for me i like this i'm just curious about that you know you know, I, I am, I am. That's, that's something I'm curious about. You know, I, I'll be honest in terms of shows like Fairy Tale, where the author, and I don't blame the author. I don't, you know, it's, it's every, to each their own. You know, we all have our certain things we like. The author specifically stated for Fairy Tale that he does not want his characters to die, that he, you know, can, wants them to keep him alive, you know, for his own reasons, stuff like that. Which, in my opinion, I'm just not the biggest fan of. I like, I feel like there's no stakes, you know, then. But so I, I want to know that about this, but you guys don't need to answer that for me. I'm sure I'll get that vibe throughout watching the show. I am super excited to get into this. I think that is all I have for episode one, though. I think I'm about to hop into episode two. Now, remember, if you guys want to see early access to episode three and four, check out Patreon down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. I appreciate y'all, Dapper Squad. I'm about to hop into this next one. Thank y'all. Have a great day. Peace.